As I, oh wow. I was gonna ask if you felt anything as I prayed, but I see you crying. Yeah. Excuse my language, I went through hell when it came to churches because obviously as you see, I'm gay. You don't have the answers. I don't have the answers, but Jesus does. Yeah. And he wants to work through you, bro. He's real, bro. And he loves you, bro. You don't gotta doubt no more. Where do you feel that at when I pray? Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Horrible. Yeah, put your hand on there. Jesus, Jesus has seen everything that you have been through, and he, he sent us here today to help you and to show you his love. Today, on this episode of Revival at Crane's Roost, <laughs> guys, we're in the waves of revival. We have people stopping right now. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to have an amazing time down here. Look, here's the truth of some matters. Look at Keegan real quick. There's a reason he's like that right now. My man is going through more crushing so that more anointing can come out. And he's trying not to probably laugh at what has been happening right here, which is possible. But you know we serve the God of uh, the impossible. So look out yonder, guys. Look far out yonder. Do you see the brick road? This is not the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> this is the road of God. <laughs> We're going to go out there. We're going to win souls. We're going to hit goals. And nothing will ever grow old because, behold, he makes all things new. Hallelujah. I hope you're riding with me on this thing. Anyway, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share because you care. And get ready because <laughs> we got a gospel that we need to share. Hey, can I pray for you, man? You want to take no prayer, bro? You got back pain? No? English? Yeah, you speak English, I thought, man. Come on, man. Well, I bless you anyway, bro. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna open up and just start shooting. You know what's really funny is the similarity of fishing, right? But it's also, it's kind of like the car sales thing, right? You see somebody walking on the lot and you like walk up to them. Hey, what are you doing here today? How you doing, man? You like that car, don't you? Them rims are nice. You know, I know you want to get in it. Come on, open it. Come on, get in there right now. Just check this out. The interior is different. They, they, this is like the only one they made like this this year. Next year you can't get this car because really? they're going to have a whole new year. So this is the year that you get this one, you know? How, how much is this? Well, look, I'll make a deal for you. I don't, I, I, I'm going to make a deal for you. I'm going to give you my discount. You're getting 10% off of the, of the, of the, of the, the, the lot price. No way. 10%. That's, that's the best thing look how much you've saved. You just saved like 800 bucks. And I'm going to put you in like an eight-year deal. Eight years of your life right into this car. You ready for that? Whatever you Let want me tell you though, it's, a, it's the only model like this. You're the best salesman I've ever seen. Only model. <laughs> You're not getting another one. Keegan is a really good car salesman. I'm telling you, Keegan can sell you. He, he's got that Wolf of Wall Street anointing. Sell me this pen. Let me tell you about this pen. You hear that click? It's the only click you're getting. This pen has that click. And the springs in it, the springs in this pen are pure gold. They look copper, but I'm telling you they're gold. Salesmen lie, you know that, right? <laughs> to make sure the product gets sold. But if they're Christian salesmen, they better not be lying and they better repent in Jesus' name. With you, I really felt like the Lord was going to just bless your business, man. Pretty simple word, but I just wanted to encourage you, man. You a believer in Jesus Christ? Oh, yeah. You are? Yeah. Is there anything else I can pray for before I, before I move on? Like you did it. No, that's it? You did it. Man. Where are you from? Yeah, Orlando. Oh, you're from Orlando? Yeah. Born yeah. Raised. All right. Yeah. Then I'll just pray this real quick. Right. Father, I thank you for this man of God who loves you, who's a believer. I pray that his business will expand for your glory. I also know that he has what I call that father's heart on him, where he sees people and he wants to help them, Lord. I pray also that those, those tears don't come in and try to mess up what you are doing with him right now. And I pray that you'll give him eyes to see so he can bring the best people in so that his business can always have that victory. And may more contracts come in where he can do more work and he can also be able to fund even the kingdom of God in ways and may his little man may his son grow up to take this on and expand it even further with you in the front in Jesus name amen amen very simple bro what's your name Daniel Adams all right yeah Carlo Carlo Carl Kendall Carlo Kendall yeah, thank you, that's all I want to do is bless you man yeah. you know when God speaks you got to speak for him right yeah. thank you man <laughs>
Yeah, man. God bless you. Yeah, man. I was just walking and the Lord told me to talk to him about like a business that he has. I didn't realize that that was his business. So I just went up to him real fast, shotgunning it. You know, I was like, ah, this is kind of awkward right now. But I started shotgunning it. And then I was like, boom, boom. And then I heard the Lord speak to me about his son. And his son's going to continue the legacy of what he's built in this business. And he's like, yeah, I got a son, man. That's crazy. And then it was like really getting to him. He was like, yo, this is wild. And I said, yeah, God just wanted me to come and just talk to you and just say that you're blessed and to keep him at the front. And also I just told him, just watch out for people that come around that don't have the best intentions, but also that the Lord would give him eyes to see those who really want to help him. So that's what I did by the grace of God in Jesus name. Ah. And I know this is like kind of random, but do y'all need prayer for anything? Not me specifically. Yeah. No depression, no anxiety. For me, I wouldn't say depression, but just more anger towards my ex. Yeah. Did you just go through a breakup? Back in end of February. Yeah. I can feel it though. Like I can feel like, you know, you can like see it in people's eyes sometimes. Like I feel that like you're having a hard time moving on. Would it be okay if I prayed for you? Yeah. Are what you are your names? I would love to hold hands. If you're a hand holder, can we all hold hands? Father, I just thank you for my sisters, Lord. I thank you for these beautiful women, God. I just thank you for their lives. I just thank you that you've brought them through so many things, God. And I don't know exactly what every single one of them needs, Lord, but you do, Jesus. I know you love them so much. So Holy Spirit, I pray right now, as we're holding hands, as I'm speaking these words, that you would overwhelm them with peace and with love. And Lord, I just pray for Leanne. Lord, I lift up her heart right now. Father God, I just thank you for your love for her, God. I just ask right now, Holy Spirit, that you would touch her heart and remove all the pain, all the residue that came from walking away from that relationship. And I just ask that you would just wash them, Lord, in your love and just show them how real you are, how much you love them, how much you just want their heart. You don't want religion. You don't want them to work for anything, but you truly want to reveal yourself to them. And I just ask that you would do that, Lord, in your mighty name. Amen. As I, oh, wow. I was going to ask if you felt anything as I prayed, but I see you crying. Yeah, I'm a little crybaby. It's just a lot. He knows. He really does. Like, he knows you. And sometimes that's kind of scary. But he loves you perfectly. Have you guys ever asked Jesus to come into your life before? Yeah. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Yes. Thank you so Stay much. Up. Okay. Stay up. Hey, I was wanting to say something real quick before we go. Really fast. I want to tell you, sometimes the Lord will speak through even tattoos, right? So this, this is the last thing. I'm not going to hold you all up. Really quick. Okay. So I saw your tattoo. I see the butterfly. Now let's tie this in prophetically if God was going to speak to you, okay? Butterflies equal metamorphosis, which means a change. That means it with process, right? We put things on our body that is more significant than you think, okay? So this shows me that throughout your life you have been having too many changes. There's been change after change after change. This includes with relationships, this includes with friendships, this could even include with jobs and things like that. So what I feel like is the enemy has attacked your life in such a way that he wants to keep you on the edge and eventually get you into such a place of self-doubt that you eventually want to give up. And I bet if I look, look deep enough into this thing, there was times in your life where you almost completely gave up. You know what I mean? I believe that the Lord wants to take this, this thing of like, you, you're doing good for maybe three months, six months, a year, and then, oh, here's this drastic thing. Oh, I've lost something that's very close to me or, you know, I put my all into this and now everything's just shifted off. You know what I'm saying? So when I was seeing that tattoo, that's kind of what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. You know, God's Spirit was speaking to me is that he wants to put a stop to all of the abrupt changes that you've been having to go through. So you can get your feet on a, on a stable ground and you can now focus and go where you want to be. I also believe there's an entrepreneurial business thing on your life that the Lord really wants you to dwell into. And, and I, I feel like the Lord was starting to speak to me about like embrace your creativity embrace what you have I know that you have that creativity on the external but there's something on the inside of you that if you would even put it online if you haven't done it yet will actually be a big prospering thing for you and I it's funny because I started to even see you in like professional settings and things like that really leading people with the creativity that you have and helping other creators grow does any of that make sense to you though it does in what sense um, I think I didn't think too much into this tattoo. I actually got it from one of my favorite DJs. Um, I've had multiple, multiple changes in my life yeah. that were in my control and out of my control. And you were pretty accurate. Yeah, because I mean, anybody can say, oh, people are going through changes. We all go through changes. I just think it was a little bit much for you, you know? And I think that's why I was focusing on that area and the Holy Spirit was showing me that. 
can I pray into that real quick before we go? What's your name? Leanne. Leanne. Father, I thank you for Leanne. As soon as I touched your hand, Leanne, um, I don't know what the connection between you and your mother was. Is, is carrying similar DNA in the sense of that was happening with her also. But I just break right now that generational attack, that generational thing that has been following the family, causing these abrupt changes from happening. I right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, set your feet on solid ground so that you can now have the focus and things that you need so you can move forward in what God has called you to do. So Father, I thank you for the Father's love that will come upon her and sustain her, complete her, and make and let her know that you are now leading her and you're not going to let these crazy changes continue to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Simple. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should go into comedy, my friend. I think you'd be really good. <laughs> Your smile is contagious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like to make people laugh, huh? Oh, she does? she does? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Devany. Devany. Ah, okay. Look, I could do it for you two, you two if you want, or I can move on. I can see what the Holy Spirit wants to say. Pretty good. She did? Yeah. Oh, you already did that? You already prophesied to him, spoke to him? Oh, really? Who is it in your family that has real bad heart problems? I was seeing, like, the heavy blood pressure thing. My mother. Yeah, I saw a heart by the Spirit, and I saw it beating really hard and really fast. And I felt like there was heart issues there, but it's also, I was feeling like it was the stress that that, that person, who is your mother, was really carrying. And um, I want to encourage you, I, hopefully she's never had a heart attack. No. But even as I'm speaking this right now, the, the attack of wanting a heart attack to come is coming to an end. And I believe your mother's a believer too, right? Okay. So I know it might not make a lot of sense, but what I just spoke to you by the power of the Holy Spirit has stopped that thing against her heart. I even think if she's on medication, is she on medication? You're going to see soon she's going to be like, the doctor said I don't have to be on my medication. This is crazy. Just remember what happened in this moment, that the Lord has sent an angel to visit her and to heal her completely. Amen. You're not a school teacher? You, you ever thought about being a teacher? My mom tells me to be a teacher. Your mom tells you you should be a teacher? Okay. It don't always mean school teacher though. So teacher could be in a lot of different things, but I think that you just have a very warm heart that people just really want to listen to what you have to say. You're probably a safe place to a lot of people. They come to you and just vomit all their stuff onto you, you know, and you want to just make sure you don't carry it too heavy, but that's because you're real, you have an integrity about you where you keep, think, you keep people's stuff, you know, and that's also a gift of healing that the Lord's put in your life. And believe yourself in that area way more because the Lord's going to really use you to bring a lot of people out of dirt. I even heard that the Holy Spirit was telling me that you're going to be used to take people from suicidal places because there's a lot of relational stuff there, you know? So you're going to be able to help people stop from getting to a place of ending their life early because of the heart that you carry, that, that nurturing, caring heart. And also that teaching thing also is connected to your career. There's a reason your mom told you that. So just look into that. I just wanted to share what the Lord was putting on my heart about you guys and uh, just encourage you and let you know Jesus is after you. He loves you and uh, it's going to get better. Amen. Yeah. God bless you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Y'all have a wonderful day. You too. Yes. Yes. No, no. Nat, Nat did amazing guys. Like she really, she really went in there and just gospeled them up. And I was just hanging out back, listening to some of it. And uh, I said, let me go over here. The, the ground's open. <laughs> the ground's wide open. And I can come tag team it a little bit. And I just saw that butterfly. And I wanted to prophesy to that girl. And then the Lord started to speak to me about them other, other girls too. And her mother's heart. And um, yeah, I just wanted to be obedient with the words God gave me. But big, big thing is I think they got, they got the gospel. And that's huge. They wanted the gospel. Which a lot of them have Christian backgrounds. You know? Look. The human body is a canvas, and if you look at them in a way where you don't judge the outward appearance, but you'll look and you'll see the story, you can see prophetically a lot. If you're critical and you're judgmental in the, in the forefront, you can't see prophetically. So I look at the canvas of what's been painted, and I see the, the story of life that is on that person about what's going on, you know? There's nothing wrong with piercings, but piercings are usually put in a person because of pain so it you know if you've experienced a lot of pain you all almost weirdly interestingly start to enjoy pain that's not always the case so y'all don't jump on me but I'm just saying when I look at a person I can tie all this stuff together it's just discernment and words of knowledge and stuff coming in and moving together so a little teaching moment for you guys glory to glory and faith to faith receive in Jesus name have you ever had a supernatural experience? Be honest. I have with Jesus. Ah, are you a Christian? I am. Yeah. Praise God, you're both Christians. Yep. Wow, okay. So if, if Jesus came right now, for sure without a shadow of doubt, you'd go to heaven with him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Praise God. Okay. Yes. Is there anything that you guys would need prayer for specifically right now? 
Uh, honestly, the biggest prayer that we need is we're about to get married in September. So just have like, a, I'd say the most positive vibes, you know, coming our way and into a bright future. Mm. Strength, you know? courage, prosperity, you know. It says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain, obtain a favor mm -hmm. from the Lord. So those good vibes you're looking for, you find when you find a wife. Ooh, you got when you find a wife. But uh, if that's cool, can we pray real quick, real fast? Absolutely. Is that okay? Sure. Can I put my hand on your shoulder? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me your name. Tyler. Tyler, what's your name? Angela. Angela, you guys are getting married in September? Yep. Fire. Praise God. Heavenly Father, thank you for Tyler. Thank you for Angela. Father God, I just pray right now in Jesus' name that as they have chosen to put you first and honor you in their relationship, Father, that you would also honor them, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that the desires of their heart, Lord, that, that it would be fulfilled. You say you give us the desires of our hearts. So, Father, I just pray right now that you would strengthen this man. Strengthen this woman, Lord, and that you'd give them grace, Lord, to fight this fight, to run this race, and that they would also receive blessings financially, Lord, in Jesus' name. I don't know why. I saw, like, a company. Um, I saw it's almost like a clothing or like a, um, almost like you, t it's almost like equipment, but it's not equipment. I don't know if you guys had, like, any idea, uh, any, like, like, idea of starting a business with, like, clothing or with, like, yes. Yeah, I'm actually, I used to actually have my own clothing business when I lived in Ohio. Oh, okay. And what kind of clothing was it? Uh, so, gym, gym Apparel. Okay. Yeah, it was okay. called Muscle Ink. Why, why'd you stop? Uh, moved down here, and it's just I haven't had the momentum to keep going down mm. here and everything. Mm. And being down here, everybody has that, you know, so. Hear me out now. Yeah. Hear me out. This is what I saw. Mm -hmm. Take it or leave it. Okay, mm. take it and do what you want with it. We're in Florida, and a lot of people in Florida like camo, mm -hmm. like camouflage, like like that hunting looking stuff. Yeah. Try mixing the two. Yeah. Here I, in actually, Florida. I actually did that. I did the white camo, uh -huh. and then I did the regular camo and all that too. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I've had thoughts of bringing it back and all that because, I mean, Florida is a bunch of gym rats. That's I think this is true. I think this is confirmation, <laughs> my friend. Camo, gym, and Jesus. Because mm. Jesus lifts the real weight. Mm. Amen. Mm. I don't know if it's confirmation if you want to take it, but man, God bless you. I appreciate you, man. If you want, go on YouTube, look up the Supernatural Life or Dang Adams Vlogs. If you want, you can shout your, your place off too. What's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram's uh, tjordan740. And then. I don't know. I think it's Angela Renee.f. I think. Hold it's on. It's like an old password. It's not like an old password. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Renee.f. Yep. Okay. Praise God. Yeah, cool. absolutely. I appreciate you guys giving me your time. Thank you. Yeah. I pray that everything goes well. Thank you. Amen. We appreciate, appreciate you. it. Man. God bless you guys. I wanted, Amen. I wanted to say something. Like oh, that. yeah, go ahead. But as he was, as Isaiah was praying for you, I saw a light around your womb and your stomach area. And I heard the Lord say that everything that the enemy stole from you, from, you know, your childhood. I don't know if you've had children in the past or not. Do you have any children? I do. Okay, but what I saw the Lord is I saw the Lord was bringing forth a child and he said this child will be it, It'll be like a promise and it will be restoration in your heart all that pain that burden that you've been through And it'll be part of a whole family and so what I saw was I saw that I saw a son too um, And I just saw that I don't know if you guys have kids together or not do not. You do not okay is that, I don't know if that's something that you guys want to have Moving forward, but I really felt the Lord wanted was highlighting that to me because he wants you to know um, all the pain the experience that you've had with children in the past. Um, I'm not sure if there was even a loss of a child or anything. Mm -hmm. Did you have a loss of a child? Yeah. Okay. Was that an abortion or was that or was that no. you, a miscarriage? Mm -hmm. Okay, so see, I saw a loss of a child, and I saw what God was doing is that with this marriage that's coming together in September, you guys are becoming one, right? I really believe that the Lord is going to give you that promise, and he's going to restore the loss of that child. Um, and it's going to be in a whole family with you guys as a husband and wife and a home um, that's not broken. So, yeah, was that confirmation at all? It was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, I really think the Lord's going to minister to you guys in this new marriage and in this uh, with the new child coming. Um, I really think that it's going to it's going to be such a big blessing for you. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to encourage you with that I word. That. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. yeah. God bless you guys. Today yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. You guys have no idea what the Lord's going to bless you with, with the business, with the child. It's going to be an amazing thing. So, yeah. But anyways, Thank God bless you guys. Right. Yeah. Thank bless you. By the grace of God, we stopped a couple um, here earlier that, you know, was a Christian and they were open to prayer. And uh, we got some words of knowledge about the previous business that they had and that they should kind of rekindle that here in the U here in the in Florida. 
Um, they're about to be newlyweds, so it's gonna be amazing. And then, man, I got Keegan behind the camera today. I actually got a word of knowledge about some intimate stuff about the woman who, you know, no one would have known except the Holy Spirit. So uh, I'm gonna let him explain that, but it was a good encounter. Here you go, Keegan. So as the mighty, mighty man of God evangelist, Isaiah was leading the way. Um, now I just saw the Lord was highlighting her womb, and I saw a child, and I saw that she had lost a child. I didn't know if it was an abortion or a miscarriage. She said it was a miscarriage, and I saw that um, she had a lot of pain, like trauma from previous relationships and maybe the dad, the dads of her previous children, who knows. But I knew that the Lord was going to give her a promise with this new son coming. So I just encouraged her with what the Lord was sharing with me. It was a, it was it was deep. It, it was a, but I really felt a boldness from the Lord to share it. So hopefully it blesses them. That's well, it. I'll just say a basic prayer for you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Father God, I thank you for my sister Jasmine, Lord. I thank you just for her life, God, and her beautiful heart, Lord, because I can just see all over her that she just loves to serve others before she even thinks of herself, God, and she's always worried for others. So right now, Lord, I just release her from all the burdens, God, just every spirit of heaviness that's tried to come upon Jasmine. I just command it to leave right now in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I just I just want to say this, okay? I just cancel every attack of the enemy over your life where it's come to loss, every spirit spirit of death even I just cancel that assignment off of you and your family and all the loss I just thank command you. that to stop in Jesus name thank you prosper thank you I appreciate yes. it appreciate it more than you know I felt a little relief coming off just saying yeah. a prayer because like I said me and my family has been going through some really yeah. tough times so like and me I'm I'm not religious but I just don't know I guess you could say how to pray so just somebody praying over me you know makes a difference yeah you say you've never you don't know how to pray or you've never no, really done it no I've done yeah. it when I was a little kid but as you get older you know yeah life changes and then you know I forgot how to pray I was one of the best prayers in the family but you Did know you, uh, like your family had a Catholic background yeah 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 my mom was very Catholic she was the one that we couldn't go to bed without praying to God you know thanking yeah. for our blessings you know before we eat we had to pray you know she was all about it yeah. but like I said as we got older we became having friends and you know would distance ourselves from our our background so definitely a lot of changes yeah yeah well I definitely understand I didn't grow up like with a lot of that influence in my life like I have like family that believes in God you know believes in Jesus but I didn't really like have it in my life right but I had like a basically a near-death experience I was actually gonna take my own life and I had an experience with Jesus like like a supernatural encounter where he was like, you know how you heard because Cat like, the yeah, Catholic background, he died on the cross for your sins, yeah. right? You accept him, you go to heaven. That's the basics of it, right? right? Well, this was the thing I didn't know, is when I met him, he said, I didn't just die for that, but I died so you could be free on earth. Mm -hmm. And people think, even religious people, think that you have to go through life being sick, being tormented, like having all this stuff on you. And it's just not what he died for. No, like not. he died because all he wants is your heart. Exactly. And he wants to give you a full life. Yeah. Like even religious people, it's like, okay, I'm gonna go to heaven. Okay, great, now I gotta suffer through the rest. And that's not what he intended. No. So I, and I, a lot of my friends that go through crazy stuff, I tell them, you know, God puts the, the biggest weight on their, their strongest soldiers because, you know, he wouldn't put this on you if he didn't know you could get through it, you know, like. That's what I tell my friends, because a lot of my friends are going through it too, you know. I'm always the positive one, no matter what I'm going through, always trying to lift people up. No matter if I'm down, I always have a smile on my face, you would never tell, so. Well, I'll tell you this too, is something that they don't talk about in a lot of religious circles, is because there's there was a seed deposit in your heart with God, right? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people don't even have that. No. But this is the thing. There is a very real God, which I know you believe that, yes, but there's a very real devil. Very real. And when he sees that someone has that seed in them, mm -hmm. he's gonna come at them full force and try to separate exactly. you from Jesus as much as he can. Mm -hmm. So like, you know how I was praying that prayer, like I come against that spirit? Yeah. It's because I saw that. And you said you felt relief. Yeah. It's because it's Immediate. something that's trying to follow your family. Yeah, it is, I could, like I said, I feel it. You know, the, this past year has been, like I said, the worst of luck in, I could say, my entire life. But like I said, all I could do is keep praying, you know, keep being positive and try to get better. You know, that's all I could do because nobody could change my life for me. Only I can, you know. And him up there because, you know, he's blessing me every day, what keeping me going, you know, keeping me strong for my kids, my dogs, you know. Yeah. So he definitely, on my weakest days, he definitely keeps me strong. Yeah. I believe that because... It's times that I want to give up and some random thought comes in my head like, you got this, Jasmine, keep going. And I'm like, 
not so it's, random. Yeah, it's not so <laughs> random, like, so it's it's honestly a blessing, you know? Yeah. And then this, today wasn't really the greatest day for me, so, like, seeing you guys, it was kind of like an eye-opener, like, I believe in intuition, so, like, I feel like I needed a prayer yesterday, so seeing you guys today is, I mean, I guess God put yeah. you guys in my path to for yeah. a prayer, because I needed well, it. if you'd be open to it, I can help you get back in that rhythm of praying. Yeah, like, mean, easy stuff. Like, and I'll tell you this, like, I'm not gonna, like, beat you down and be like, Christianity over yeah. the falls, like, not like that, right? Because at the end of the day, like, Jesus wants your heart. Yeah. Like, he wants a relationship. He doesn't care about all that other stuff. Yeah. It's a lot easier than probably some of the stuff you even grew up with, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, to be honest, as a kid, um, my mom was always, like, giving me the, the best part of God and church and stuff, but I could say I had a bad experience with my father. Yeah. And I must say, like, I want to erase those memories I had with bad churches and get into a good church and get around good people because when I was younger, I went through, excuse my language, I went through hell when it came to churches because obviously, as you see, I'm gay. <laughs> my dad tried to pray the gay away from me. So, mm -hmm. like, I went to churches that were like, you're going to go to hell this and this and I'm like you guys are not supposed to say that I know that as being a kid um, God loves all his children and you're not gonna you're not gonna belittle me because of how I was made so like there was a lot of miscommunication as a child when it comes to religion and it like messed up my beliefs a lot because like I said I went to a lot of bad churches Miss Christina <laughs> yes <laughs> but yeah I'm definitely even I, I will if you guys had a Bible I would love to have a Bible but Has anybody got a Bible on them Download the Bible app. You have a smartphone. Bible app? Yeah, Bible yeah. app for free. I didn't even know that. I was going to say, I usually carry them or even little ones. Would have been great for this. All right, perfect. Do you guys always stroll around here? A lot. Yeah, we come here pretty often. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This one is it her? Looks like this one. I thought you did, I think. This is the one it looks like. Just the Bible app. Okay. You'll find it. It's the most popular one. <laughs> yeah, if you look it up. The Bible app. Right there, right? It's actually the second one. Oh. Yeah. Does the word, does the name like Alana or a Alana? How do you know that name? Who, who, what's Lana? My, fr one of my friends that re recently got a prison sentence. So that's her name, Alana. <laughs> so that's wow. kind of crazy. I was literally hearing the word Lana, like Lana, Lana, Anna. Yeah, that's my friend. She believes in Jesus. She ended up getting charged for something that she didn't do. And she's honestly doing a couple years behind bars because of it. And it's crazy because my wife was just talking to her on the phone before I walked to the store. So it's crazy you said Alana out of everybody. Wow. So what did she go to jail for? Uh, it's kind of personal, okay. but. You no, know, you don't have you don't have to tell me, but how long is she in? How, she, how long is she in? She's doing a couple years. She might be doing six to eight years. And what was her relationship to you? She was one of my, one of my good friends. It's my wife's best friend. So she's been around since I've got with my with my wife, so she's a Christian. Yes, she was in. Um, she's actually from Massachusetts, and she was in a biker church, and she was all into going online church and everything like that. She's very religion, and even in prison right now, she's still going to Bible studies and still preaching her word in the prison. You know, trying to stay positive as much as she can in there. I wonder why the Lord showed me Lana. I wonder. Mm. Pretty crazy. Mm. That is pretty crazy. Uh, how how before before she went to prison? How often would you guys talk? Um, pretty much every day, every other day. Like she, her, and my my wife are best friends, so every day, <laughs> so <laughs> all the time. Mm. I don't know why I feel like there's something you guys have to talk about. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It's almost like it's almost like you should ask her some questions next time you talk to her. Yeah. And maybe questions that you have, like that the Lord might begin to stir into you. And that he'll bring, that he'll bubble up to your, the forefront of your heart. And I know she's like in a weird situation right now. She's in jail, all that stuff. But the Lord will use like the foolish things to confound the wise. So I feel like Lana has an answer for you that you might not want to hear. Or you might not think she'll say. But I believe that you'll get, you'll get some freedom and also revelation from some things that she has to say to you. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because yeah. like I said, she's been into church and she's. Sometimes she prays for us a lot. Like she talks to us about the Holy Spirit and you know what she's starting to learn about church and stuff. So she definitely is an eye opener, especially this year. Even though she's behind bars, she's definitely a big impact on our life. And she said she was uh, accused falsely. Yeah, falsely, very falsely. <laughs> well, the Lord will redeem her. Yeah, yeah. I hope. Yeah. I hope.
hope so. I'm hoping even just God looks over her while she's in there because she's such a good person and she doesn't deserve that. It's cool if we pray for her real quick. Yeah. yeah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Lana. And I thank you for her life, Lord. I just pray that you would send a supernatural uh, provision, Father, that she be released, Father, swiftly, and that she won't have to do full time. Father, for you are the avenger, Lord, and your vengeance is yours. So bless you, Lord, and thank you for Lana and her life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Wait, before you go, though, we have to, like, pray together. Okay. It's okay if I put my yeah. hand on your shoulder? Yeah. All right, so you're just going to pray like this, right? Say, Jesus. Jesus. I know you love me. I know you love me. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I ask that you would protect me. I ask that you would protect me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For protecting my family. For protecting my family. For redeeming us. For redeeming us. I receive your love. I receive your love. I love you. I love you. Show me the way. Show me the way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now that was a bunch of random stuff, right? It's beautiful. But all though. you have to do is just talk. Say Jesus and just let it out. Like you can come to God, like not like, oh, Oh my gosh, I, ah, and say it 16 times. Like, it's just a conversation. Yeah. Like, that's what he wants. He wants our real rawest form. Yeah. Even when you're mad. Like, it's ah, crazy because like, Alana told us when we feel like we need to pray, it doesn't matter what we have to pray, even if it's a whole bunch of rambles, he appreciates just us praying to him and looking out for him, basically. She, she explained it in so many ways. She's like, you don't need to know how to pray. As long as you sit there, Thank God for everything you've been through and even talk to him through your problems. He'll sit there and listen. You might not think he's listening, but he will. Do you and have he'll show children? you. I have stepchildren. Yeah. I don't have any children of my own, but they're my they're my babies. Yeah. It's like when you haven't talked to them for a while and they give you a call, mm -hmm. it's just like you just wanted to hear yeah, from them. Exactly. It's not even like, okay, yeah, we're good now and ooh, I just oh that's so good. No, it's like you're so excited, right. you can't wait, and you just love it, right? That's right. how he feels about you. Yeah. He definitely opens my eyes in a lot of situations. Like I said, there's times I go through it and he gives me a sign or a blessing, I should say, because it comes randomly and it's the days I need him the most and he appears. Amen. Appears always, always when I need him. Amen. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you for letting us pray for you. I appreciate you. you. Like yeah. I said, I needed all this positive energy with the month I've been having. And like I said, I needed all the prayers that I could take. If you want to look up our YouTube channel, it's The Supernatural Life. Supernatural yeah, life. got a lot of good things going on there. A lot of our ministry, it's global, but it's online. So and it's Daniel easy to follow. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'll be course. looking at you guys' videos, and I hope yeah. you guys have a great day. And God you bless too. you guys all. You too. Take care. Can I ask you a question, like an interview? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a supernatural encounter? Mm, not for real. No, never. Not never. for real, for real. Okay. What comes to mind? Oh, we can come over here. So, what comes to mind when I say Jesus? Keep it on. Powerful, but powerful. I guess I'm powerful. Yeah. Are you? Do you believe in Jesus? Are you a Christian? Yeah, yeah, I believe in Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So, so if Jesus were to come back right now, you'd go to him. With him. You're 100 yeah. percent sure. Facts. Yeah. I hope you accept me, but facts, yeah, I most definitely would. You, you, you should know why you're here if you if you would accept, accept you right now. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you doubt a little bit whether or not? You, you can go. Would you? Yes, oh, okay, okay, okay. Would you? Do you feel like you have a little bit of doubt? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am because you can't believe in everything you can't see. I ain't never seen God or Jesus. I just heard stories about him. Oh, okay. Facts. Okay. It says, "Blessed are those who believe and have not seen." Yeah. So he's almost like he almost gives people like extra blessing for believing and not seeing, because the disciples back in the day saw. Yeah, but I mean, can't believe everything. You know, they rewrote the book a thousand times, but yeah. I felt like religion, anyway, is a way to control population and control people. Period. But I believe in a higher power. But you said it. You said it yourself. Religion. Yeah, religion. But facts. But, but Jesus, Jesus isn't about religion. Was you know, about. you know, in the Bible, you know, the, in the Bible, the word religion is used like twice. And it has nothing to do with Jesus. But two times it's mentioned. It's like one. It says if a man says he's religious, he should he should be of a good of a good account, and he should be able to bridle his tongue, right? And then and another time it's used. It's a perfect religion. It's to care for the widows and the orphans. It has nothing to do with praying. It has nothing to do with none of that stuff. So like Jesus wasn't a religious person. Actually, like the teachers of the law hated him. You Believe Jesus is black. 
Yeah, you believe he was brown? Yeah, yeah. You believe he was like your color? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, uh, we, we, we Holy Spirit filled out here, bro. We yeah. ain't on that. Yeah. Nah, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't on that Jehovah Witness. I ain't on none of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about the real Holy Ghost. I used to be out here, bro, pushing weight, bro. And I didn't believe Jesus was real. My mom was a Christian. And I had an encounter in 2020, and he changed my life. And I wasn't at church. Like, he met me, bro. Like, he pulled up on me. I'm a homie's crib. We were, like, plotting, trying to do some crazy stuff. And next thing you know, like, he met me, but I had a whole vision of everything. I never had that experience to this day. And since then, bro, I tried to smoke, couldn't smoke. I tried to sleep with the women, I couldn't sleep with the women. I tried to do my own thing, I couldn't do it. I tried to push, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do anything, any of the stuff I used to do. And, like, overnight. And it wasn't like I went to an AA. It wasn't like I went to this counseling. It wasn't like someone talked to me. Yeah. When his spirit touched me, bro, I couldn't go back. Even when I tried to. I tried, bro. I tried to go back, but it wasn't the same. And he showed me that Jesus really is the Son of God. He showed me that the Bible really is real, but the Bible, just as a book, is just a book. But the, but the Word of God comes alive when the Holy Spirit speaks through the Word. So it's just like a gun. A gun is nothing if it sits there, but once it's in someone's hands, it becomes a weapon. Exactly. It's the same way with the Holy Spirit and the Bible. The Bible is just a book. It's just a history book when it's just a book in the hands of the wrong person. But in the hands of a Holy Spirit filled believer or even someone who's searching the truth, the Holy Spirit uses that as a beacon to the Lord, as a way to the Lord. It says the word is God. So now, this is what I want to ask you a question right now. I know you said you were kind of iffy, you know what I'm saying? If if you had an opportunity, bro, to really give your life to Christ, like to really say, all right, Jesus, like if you really real, if you really about that life, I want to be part of that life with you too, would you be willing to do that? Yeah. Yeah? I ain't no choice. I ain't yeah. trying to go here. Ah, wise man. Wise man, that's wisdom, bro. That's yeah. uh, It says the beginning of wisdom is to fear God. That's Proverbs. That's literally what Proverbs says. This is the, the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. So if you're down, could we do a quick prayer to reestablish that connection with you and the Lord yeah. and that the Holy Spirit would mark you today? I feel like you already marked. I feel like your, your mom has prayed for you. Is your mom a Christian? No, I mean, she, she used to go to church and stuff, but she... Ah, oh, hold on. Don't, don't tell me no more. Don't tell me no more. Hold I'm on. I'm really going through it with my mom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, tell, don't, tell, don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. The Holy Spirit speaks, and I want, I want, I want the Lord to glorify himself in your life. Why do I see your mom going in and out of homes, like in and out of houses? Like I, I see her like she wasn't still. Why do I see that? Probably because she hurt and battling between what me and my brothers going through. When you were growing up, when you were growing up, were, did you guys have to move a lot? Yeah, we moved from yeah, most definitely from yeah. county to county and state to state. Well, we moved from Carolina to Louisville to Kentucky, and then I mean, we went from neighborhood to neighborhood. Though, yeah. I see you guys moving a lot. I literally saw that. I literally saw your mom having to come in and out of a house. Why do I, was your dad in your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Why do I feel like your mom and your dad were like, were bucking a lot? Like there was a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, a lot of definitely. abuse and a lot of, a lot yeah, yeah, of foul definitely. play. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, I, I see, but I'm literally seeing that as I'm looking at you. Um, I, I believe your mom was hurt a lot. Yeah. And I believe she put it out on y'all sometimes a lot. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. Yeah. So I, I believe that, bro, the, the Lord wants to start something here that can go up into the family, into the rest of the family. Do you have brothers? You said you have brothers, right? I, I believe that the Lord wants to start something here, almost like a match, almost like a fire. Just like if I light this tree on fire and no one touches it, it's going to light the rest of the trees on fire. It's the same way the Lord wants to light you on fire, that you could also spark the people around you on fire as well. If you're, if you're, if you're down. Yeah? Say this, bro. If you, if you open, say, Jesus. Jesus. I've heard your words. I heard your words. And I want you. And I want you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ and what? Of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. The Son of God. Son of God. To live in me. To live in me. To change my life. Change my life. That I can change others. That I can change others. By your spirit. By your spirit. Mark me. Mark me. And fill me. And fill me. Never leave me. Never leave me. Hold me close. Hold me close. Teach me. Teach me. Guide me. Guide me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can I pray real quick for you, real quick? Crazy. That's crazy, right? <laughs> he don't even know. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, you gonna say something? I was gonna, no, go ahead. Okay, okay. I was gonna say your shoes are very cute. Oh, uh, hey, praise God. We got the Air Force Ones. I'm gonna pray real quick, okay? Heavenly Father, tell me your name one more time. Ricky. Ricky. Let's go up with my hand on you, right? Father God, I thank you for Ricky and I thank you for his life. Lord, I thank you for marking him. Holy Spirit, I pray right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to him now. Touch him, Lord. More. More. Make everything brand new, Lord. In Jesus' name. 
Touch his heart, touch his mind. Break down the walls, Lord, in Jesus' name. As I pray for you, keep it 100, bro. Did you experience anything? A little bit. What did you feel, bro? Some just the energy. What energy, what energy bro? Energy. Emotional. What did it feel like? What did it feel like? Like a shit that need change. Mm. He's real, I mean, mm. I guess. You don't gotta guess. But it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a coincidence that you stopped yeah. me out of everybody. Right. Though. And I'm really going through something, though. You don't gotta guess no more, bro. Father God, I pray right now that you remove any doubt. And that as, even as he goes to sleep tonight, Father, that you reveal yourself to him even in a greater way. Why do I feel like you lost someone close to you recently, bro? My cousin. Your cousin? Was y'all, were you close to him? Yeah. That was your man's? How long ago was this? Last year. It's not your fault that happened, bro. Did you beat yourself up about it? No? A little bit. It's not your fault, bro. It's not your fault, bro. He wants to do something new in you, bro. You're a leader, bro. You're a soldier. And the streets try to take you. The enemy try to make you a disciple of the devil, but the Lord's making you a disciple of Christ, bro. That you'll be a disciple of the light, fam. Not a darkness no more. You don't have the answers. I don't have the answers, but Jesus does. And he wants to work through you, bro. He's real, bro. And he loves you, bro. You don't got to doubt no more. You don't got to doubt no more, bro. You okay if I dab you up, bro? Yes. Good looking, bro. Thank you. It's the Lord, bro. It's the love of God, bro. He loves you, bro. On everything, bro. It's not about me. It's not about this camera, bro. It's not about none of that, bro. The Holy Spirit loves you, bro. And he's, there's a reason why he's calling you, bro. It's because you're open to him, bro. Your heart is softer than you think it is, bro. But you got to be tough in this world. And that's why you, you, know, you can be a little stubborn sometimes. But he knows, bro. If he calls you, bro, you'll listen, bro. And that's why he's calling you, bro. You don't got to guess. You don't got to doubt, bro. Jesus really is the son of God. The Bible really is real. But you need the Holy Spirit to show you, bro, through his spirit, bro. Not by your understanding. Not by what the social media teaches you, what you learn from the streets. But by his spirit. Would you guys be all right being on it? I have a channel called The Supernatural Life. Do you believe God does supernatural things? You do? Have, have you ever experienced God do something supernatural in your life? We can take it that way. Have you ever, have you ever been healed before? Have you, yeah. you have? So we can take it that way. And then maybe I could pray for you. I'm a shy person. Yeah? But God makes shy people bold people. You know? God will take what's, what looks like is our problem and make it a big solution. I used to have a lot of fear issues too at one time. So I had, I was like, had social anxiety and everything. And now I travel the world and preach the gospel because the Holy Spirit, you know, has, has grown in my life. What makes you scared? What are you scared of what people might think or you might mess up or something no, like that? It's just like, I think it's something like inside of me. I just get nervous. Really? Yeah, I just be like, mm. Wow. Like overthinking in the moment. Ah, okay. So you want to be in control. So there must be a time in your life where you lost control. Yes. Mm, maybe in your earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going somewhere now, right? <laughs> yes. You know about prophecy and stuff like that? Words of knowledge, how the gifts of the Holy Spirit work. So what God will do sometimes is he'll speak to somebody that has the Holy Spirit in the inside and start revealing things. Would you be okay if the Lord started to show me some things so I can help you out? That's fine. Yeah. So we'll start with where we were. You said you had fear because of things that happened in your past that you lost control of, that you've been trying to keep control of. And then you get anxiety. And then anxiety brings fear, makes you shaky, right? And then you maybe, then your heart beats fast. And then you could go into a panic attack, right? Because you're like, oh, I'm losing control. Yeah. Okay, do you know the exact moment in your life when that started? Oh, yeah. I was. 16 and I just started like going to the clubs a lot. Okay. Like, without asking my parents, I just sneak out and stuff like that. You would just sneak then, out? Yeah, and then when I try to like stop and just have a normal life, I was having it inside. Mm. It was really bad. Because like, if I'm home and I just want to go out, or yeah. I'm trying to go to sleep and I just want to go out. Mm. But I can control it now. I don't, I've been like one month already without going to a club. Okay. So do you feel like in some way, you're a believer in Jesus? No, yeah. Now? Do you think in that season of your life you let the devil in somewhere? Yeah. Mm. 
So there's something called deliverance. Yeah. In Jesus, in the Bible, if you look, Jesus in the Bible would walk around and deliver people from demonios, from demons, right? He would yeah. set people free. I believe I can pray for you through the power of Jesus Christ and that thing that came in through the moment of you being a bad girl, right? Yeah. How he came in, we can stop that and you won't never have that feeling again. You wanna do that? Yeah. What's your name, by the way? I'm sorry, man. Ray. Ray, nice to meet you, Ray. That's my friend, and Drew is my neighbor. Drew's your neighbor? Oh, nice to meet you. Can I pray for you first, though? With the camera? Yeah, okay. because look, if something amazing happens, I don't have to post it if you don't want me to, yeah. but if God does something, now we have it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But I don't have to, you know, unless you say, wow, that was amazing. I want the world to see what Jesus can do, you know? Is that you understand? Yeah. yeah, let me pray, come here. Can you say these words? Can you say Jesus? Jesus, forgive me, forgive me for that season of my life, for that season of my life. When, I was going out. when I was going out. I ask you right now, and I ask you right now to, remove to remove any spirit, any spirit that, came into me. that came into me. You see, I get nervous. Yeah, watch. It's really, uh, that was causing me, that was causing me to be addicted to this. To be addicted to it. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Now just look, okay? Father, I thank you for what's your name again? I thank you for Carol. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every demonic force that came into her body during that season, I speak to you now and I command you to come up and out of her body completely. Hold on. You will not be in her anymore. You will not cause her to be fearful. You will not cause her to feel like she has to control everything. So I command even this unclean spirit and all the things in her stomach too, I command that to come out and to release her once and for all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bit of it go in Jesus' name. Where do you feel that at when I'm praying? Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Put your hand on there. It's crazy, huh? It is. Watch, watch. Come out. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. My hand? Yeah, I'm going to put my hand on top of yours. Come out of her stomach. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Come out of her stomach all the way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every demon leave her body. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> it's going. Watch, watch, watch. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm gonna blow. Hold on. <sighs> Come out of her. All the way. All the way. What did you feel? It's heavy. Yeah. The whole day I was feeling heavy in my stomach. What do you feel now? Check. Still heavy. Still heavy? Yeah. Are you sure? Tell me what you feel. Right here, it's like, I don't know, it's weird. You ever feel that before? No? Okay. You truly wanted to give that up, right? Yeah. But okay. I think I don't believe truly in God. Like, I... But you feel that? Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. It's, it's weird. So have you ever asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? Yeah. You have? Have you asked him to forgive you of your sins? Are you living a good life right now? Yeah, I'm trying to. You're trying to? Okay. Have you ever said that prayer to accept Jesus in your heart? What you say again? Have you ever said that prayer to accept Jesus in front of somebody before, to be your Lord and Savior? In church. In church? In church? Yeah. You said it. After you said that prayer, did you still live the life you should have, or did you kind of go back? It was bad? a month, and then I went back. Mm. Because of that. If you'll say this prayer with me, for Jesus to be truly your Lord and Savior, meaning you really give your life to Him all the way, then this thing will stop. I just feel like you said it. You said, I have trouble believing in God. Yes, that's my trouble. Because so, my parents yeah. are um, Christian. Right. Yeah. So you need faith. But you see what's happening. Yeah. That's supernatural. That's because Jesus wants to set you free from that spirit that's made its way in. You understand? Yeah. Okay. I felt this too when I was speaking just now. I believe there's a season of your life. Now look, most women want this, but I believe this will be important to you. I saw children as being your portion, meaning that the Lord wants you to have children. Now, I know there may be a little bit of a battle in that area, but the Lord wants to give you that. He wants to give you that blessing. Because what's going to happen in the blessing of having children in the future is it's going to show you an aspect of God's heart for you that's going to be amazing. You're going to see an aspect of trust that you haven't seen before because you're going to also see the ability to let go because when you have children you can't control or your children won't be able to grow up, right? 
Do you desire to have children one day? Yeah. You do? We literally talk about it in the car. Really? We all talk about it. And I uh, say I want to, como se dice, adoptar un... She wants to like adopt. You want to adopt? Oh, you got a good mama's heart. So that's why I'm trying to tell you that if you have children, you're going to see an aspect of God in your life that you had never seen before. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's going to help a lot with your heart. But this is in the future that I'm yeah. talking about. This isn't right now. But there's something special that will come with that. But right now the Lord wants to restore your faith. The way you restore your faith and get rid of this doubt and unbelief is you say that prayer and you allow God to do what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. You see? You want to do that? Okay. I'm nervous still. I don't know. It, it'll stop. Just, just trust what I'm saying. You understand that we all sin. That we all need a Savior. That Jesus' blood covers our sin. Right? You believe that too? The blood of Jesus is powerful. So when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you become blood washed. Do you know what blood wash means? It means He makes you white as snow. He makes you pure. Do you believe that you're pure? Why? Because of Jesus. Right? Let's just pray. Say, Jesus, Jesus forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my, my sins. sins. I, need I need your help. I don't want, I don't want the, devil the devil to attack me anymore. Attack me anymore. I, acknowledge, I acknowledge, I acknowledge that you died on the cross for me. You died on the cross for me. I also accept, and I also accept, accept that your blood, that your blood is, enough. is enough. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus for, saving for saving me and healing me and, healing me and delivering me. And deliver. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Now let me see one more thing. I'm going to put my hand right here. Watch. See if you feel it again. I command it to come out of her now. Demonio fuera. <laughs> Demonio fuera en el nombre de Jesús. In el nombre de Jesus, demonio fuera. Uh huh. Fuera, fuera. Uh huh. Brujaria, fuera. In el nombre de Jesus. Come out of her body, all the way. I want you to tell me and be honest when you feel a release. Come all the way out. I don't feel anything. Huh? I don't feel anything. What do you mean? You really? Really? You're being honest? Yes. Like one second ago, I was doing the things. And it's normal. Okay, now see if you still feel nervous. Yeah, I'm still nervous. And wh where at? Here? Oh, in your heart? Now you feel it here. You don't feel it there. You feel it there. Uh, now, <laughs> let me see this. Come out of your chest now. All the way out of her heart, in the mighty name of Jesus, leave her body. I can see your heart getting, yeah. Come on, come on. Come out of her. Fuera. All the way. In el nombre de Jesus. Every spirit, espíritu, that is not of God, I commanded to leave her heart. All the rejection, all the pain, all the protection that she had to put up the walls, I commanded to leave her body now. In Jesus' name, I command a new heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Are you happy? Yeah, because when was the last time I prayed? I don't know. You like, prayed I today? Completely, yeah, I completely <laughs> didn't talk to God for months. Really? And my mom is crazy. Wow. Yeah. So after this right here, do you believe that you'll talk to God? I will read the Bible. No, no, no. Talk to, talk to him. I don't know how to talk to him. Like, hey, God, thank you for today. Oh, yeah, I always say to thank you for Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, just talk to him like this. Man, Lord, today's been crazy. I've had this go on. I really need you to help me here. It's like a relationship, you know? So when people think God is way out here, but God is right here. It says God lives in you. Did you know that? God lives in us. So God is inside. You get it? Yes, thank you. Amen. The kingdom of God is here. If you believe in Jesus, he lives inside of you. So when you speak, he always hears you. He lives inside of you by his Holy Spirit. All right? Just remember, call on the name of the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. He'll help you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, God. God bless you. Thank you for letting God me pray you. for you. Jesus, Jesus.
has seen everything that you have been through. And he sent us here today to help you and to show you his love so that you don't have to suffer anymore. Jesus paid a big price. He wants you to live. He wants you to have a family. He wants you to change everything of what you have seen in your life. He's going to restore and make all things new. Amen. Those young people right there, I mean, I'm young, you know what I'm saying. But the, young, the younger people, uh, you saw with the situation of that girl, it wasn't a complete release. There's sometimes like... I like to say it's seed sowing moments, but that moment right there where we stop them, you'll see with the other girl, like she was dealing with off me type thoughts, meaning just ended all type thoughts and stuff. She, her, her, her family's Jehovah Witness and she said she couldn't stand it. And then she got to experience the love of Jesus Christ and you know, it was amazing. She got to experience his power. She was weeping and, and touched by the love of Jesus. And like it was a whole exchange that happened right there that changed everything. But if we hadn't have stopped the original people, we never wouldn't have got to her. And that girl was like really standoffish at first. So, you know, these people were more open, but they weren't as open as we thought, which led to her. But I believe even with those people we prayed for right there, there was a great experience that happened also because she said that she had been far from God. So hopefully this is a seed that brings her closer to God. I got to pray for her to, you know, re-solidify her faith in Jesus Christ and she found out that there was something moving around that should not be moving around so anyway we just do what we can with the situation we've been given remember some sow some water God gets the harvest so this was a seed that was planted in one of them and the other one was a watering moment moment and God just is going to get the harvest in it all right just wanted to come on here and let you guys know a little bit about what went down and why we move the way we move in each situation. All right, vlog family, another night at Crane's Roost. I know it seems like we're coming back here again, right? Well, I'm in Florida, not too far from here, so I like to come back and get back to the roots. You know, never forget the roots where all the good things began. Never despise the small beginnings. And this was a small beginning here and it's grown us to where we are today. So I like to return and have some fun here. But I hope you guys have been enjoying it. The encounters have been amazing everywhere that we go. Holy Spirit is not limited. He's been showing up and showing off and people have been experiencing his love. People have been giving their hearts to Jesus. People are getting prophesied to, words of knowledge, healed, delivered, you name it, it's happening. And it's because we are out in the harvest field. The harvest field is ripe, the laborers are few. So I hope I'm talking to some of the few that are gonna come out and win souls for Jesus Christ. You know, I travel guys, I do revivals all over the world, actual meetings, but you see that I'm still in the harvest field. And I preach the gospel everywhere, any place, any time, because that's what we're supposed to do. And guys, if you're watching this video and you're catching faith, meaning you are getting excited for what you see, you can continue this. You can get actually discipled here in the ministry. Did you know that? By becoming a forerunner. Go to thesupernaturallife.org, www.thesupernaturallife.org, and you can be a part of what we're doing here no matter where you are in the world. So sign up to be a forerunner today. That means you're going to forerun for the return of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyway, first time watching, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share because you care. And I'll see you on the next vlog episode in Jesus' name.